Jerry Gerund, A Sentence Ford Tale. Now this is our uh, admittedly rather silly version of what a gerund is, but we remember from the cartoons that you saw on the Literary Lions page that we're calling Jerry Gerund the child of Nancy Noun and Vernon Verb. The reason for that is that a gerund looks like a verb, but it does the work of a noun. It performs one of the six functions of a noun. We're very familiar now with the six functions of a noun. Subject, predicate, nominative, direct object, indirect object, object of the preposition, and a positive. And here they are demonstrated for you. And as you take a look, you see that the word Nancy is the subject in the first sentence, the predicate nominative in the second, and so on. I've even highlighted the word Nancy to show you how it is functioning in that sentence. So we'll take just a moment to look at that or you can stop the recording here. A gerund is a verb form. It always ends in ing, but it can't stand alone. It would need a helping word to be a verb. So for instance, I would say he is running, but just by itself that word running cannot stand as a verb. So a gerund is a verb form and it always ends in ing. That makes it even easier to recognize. Again, it looks like a verb, but it does the work of a noun. So we're going to take a look at some sentences in which Jerry Gerund, with the verb form ending in ing, is going to perform each of the six functions of a noun. In this sentence, it's the subject. The word running is the subject. Here, the word running is the predicate nominative, remembering that a predicate nominative comes after a linking verb. Sport is the subject is is the linking verb. Running is the predicate nominative. Now if we were to say the boy is running then obviously we'd have a verb there but the meaning of this is obviously that the sport is equal to running. So that makes it a predicate nominative. The direct object, what is loved? Running. The indirect object, you, the subject, give is the verb, try is the direct object, that is what is being given, you're giving a try, and it's being given to running, that try is being given to running. We remember here, too, that the indirect object always comes before the direct object. The object of the preposition, I, the subject, am afraid. What am I afraid of? Of running. Of is the preposition. Running is the object of the preposition. And then finally, the appositive. Her sport, running, is featured in the yearbook. So sport is the subject. The word running, set off with commas here, is a noun form that is giving more information about the word sport. So there you have a rundown of the six functions 
of a gerund. Remember that it always ends in ing, and it performs the same function as a noun.